Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here. Welcome back to Sniper Elite V2 Remastered. Moving on with the collectibles, the gold bars, and the hidden bottles. You'll reach this facility where we will go across kind of the top scaffolding near the very beginning of the level. We will then make our way to the other side and go down a staircase. Make sure you stop in the middle floor instead of continuing all the way down to the bottom. And then check this little side room that's connected for your first gold bar. Once you leave the little facility we were in at the very beginning, you will take a right hand turn and you should be able to spot a bottle sitting up near a kind of connecting bridge between buildings just in front of you. There's also going to be a ton of enemies here in front of you, so you'll probably want to take those guys out as well. From the location of this bottle here, we'll want to run forward. There will be a staircase on our left. Run past that and into the building kind of behind it. And from where we enter, you want to basically go diagonally across the room to the far corner to find gold bar number two. You'll then go up that short staircase towards the main objective and then vault into this building. I think there were some enemies here I probably took care of. Go forward and look out the window and to the right. There will be a whole bunch of enemies to snipe here but also a bottle which will be resting right on top of a couple of crates a little bit off to the left near the middle there. We will then be able to grab about four or five gold bars in a row here. Turn around and work your way down the staircase towards the objective. Before going outside, make sure you hook around, look behind the boxes and go underneath the staircase to find gold bar number three, we should be at 53 out of 100 if we've been following along. Now for gold bar number four, we can then head outside onto the main road where we killed all the enemies and work your way up the hill. And once you reach the top of the hill, if you look to the left, you should see a bunker that is built into the ground near the edge of the base here. Go inside and look around the box to find gold bar number four. Then what we can do is push straight for gold bar number five. So instead of going into the building, which is our main objective marked by the yellow diamond there, work your way all the way across to the opposite side of the building. On the opposite side there, there'll be a small little guard outpost kind of thing where, uh, you know, the guard stands. And just outside of that, you can find gold bar number five. We have then went inside of the building. I've obviously taken care of all of the enemies and from where we enter, if you go to the far left room, enter the door and then go to the corner of the room on the desk next to some radio equipment, you can find gold bar number six and then we can actually move on to the next one straight after that. Again, there might be a couple of enemies here, but you'll wanna go towards your objective and up the stairs and then continue and take a right hand turn when possible. This all loops together so you can actually turn left if you want. But just follow the path here and then take the first room on your right hand side and you should be able to find the gold bar in the corner diagonally across from where we entered just behind a military crate. We've then worked our way upstairs towards our main objective. Yet again, I've taken care of all of the enemies for you. But as we enter the area, take a left hand turn towards the objective and make sure you go through this door before going up the stairs in order to find the gold bar on a shelving unit. We have then reached the last area. You'll go up some stairs and see a giant flak gun in front of you. As you exit, turn to the left, hop over the boxes. You'll notice a staircase to your left and underneath that staircase will be gold bar number nine. In the next area, there will be about 10 to 15 enemies, which I've taken care of. But if you then proceed up the stairs that were, uh, we were just under to get the gold bar and then basically walk forward once you reach the landing at the top. If you look across, you should be able to notice the bottle. This will be the third and final bottle of the level. Obviously, watch out for any enemies here, but that one shouldn't be too bad. And then in the very middle of this area up on the, uh, on the roof here. There's a little bit of a bunker, so you can go inside and find gold bar number 10 before we move on. Thank you for watching. If the video has been helpful, drop a like, leave a comment, share the series with a friend. Shout out to Double O, and thanks everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. I'll see you soon. Peace.